With Tetanor Fuji out for the rest of the tour, and clearly for some time more, attention has turned to those just beneath him. Sunday saw Shodai face what he himself joked would be the Orzeki party from hell. 400 guests swelled the long postponed event, including several of Sumo's top names. But while everyone was merry in general, Chairman Hakkaku had words of warning in his headlining speech. Since Edo times has the rank of Orzeki been here, he began. And until the 1890s, it was the highest rank on the chart. It's a status of which to feel pride and joy, but it also demands a sense of responsibility and self-pressure. And honestly, I don't think that's Shodai right now. So Shodai, push yourself, train harder, stake it all on each bout, and really feel that true Orzeki tension and Orzeki pride. Shodai accepted the strident critique. I failed to fully handle the pressure, and I'm still not quite there mentally, he began. I've had too many tournaments with multiple low points. But I see today as my welcome boost, which I'll take into November, and try to translate into good results. Many have asked what's up with him. In addition to mental anguish, the answer is simple. He's diabetic and struggling to manage that condition, which fatigues him and saps his power. He's looked pretty bad in tour practice bouts, but we understand he did better on Wednesday when Hokuto Fuji and Nishikigi stopped by his stable, winning 8 from 12 against them. He also scolded two younger colleagues for talking too much and insisted they leave. Calmly, we're told, but he's clearly tetchy. And he's yet to find his ideal moves. Mitake Umi has repeated his vow to regain the rank he recently lost, I believe without even a party. I must accept reality and complete my mission, he said of the quest for 10 wins. It's been a rough year and I want to finish it well. Nice and steady, one win at a time. Last week he spent three mornings at nearby Kasugano stable, which made him sore in a good way, he laughs. He's hardly fought practice bouts on tour though. It's November, so he must succeed is the talk around Takakesho. Cup in 2018, Cup in 2020, runner-up last year, as we recall. I want to wrap up 2022 with a title, he told the press after training today, but there's no particular yearning for this one. I'm always in to win. On Monday, he practiced at Takekuma Stable, whose master had words of advice. He's my high school senior and Orzeki senior, Keisho sought to remind. He critiqued my sumo and also provided off dohyo advice. Keisho's fought more bouts on tour than Shodai and Mitake combined. One rung below, Horshoryu's received an added incentive to seek higher planes. The recent admission of a high school rival to Takasago stable. 23-year-old Mongolian Raguja Jamintoko came to Japan on the very same flight as Horshoryu and Oshoma seven years ago. I'm sure four years of uni sumo have strengthened him no end, Horshoryu said today. I hope we get to fight again soon. Meanwhile, fellow Sekiwake Wakataka Kage has, along with his brothers, been named as official cheerleader for Fukushima, his home prefecture. Less reserved Wakamoto Haru has this week appeared twice on variety TV shows, once in tandem with Tochimusashi, and he's proving quite a hit. 
And Meisei has praised his father for a G-up call which transformed his September. My parents know my character best of all, and Dad saw I was hesitant in my moves, he said. And he asked, what on earth are you demurring for? Just believe in yourself and your strategy, and if you lose, so what? It simply means you must train more. But don't be losing in confusion. Meisei won all five of his bouts after that, and will see his rank rise for November. Finally, Asano Yama is counting the cost of his promotion near miss. Had he won match six and risen to Judeo, his hairdressing show on October 15th would likely have passed without note. But called to Ishikawa with colleague Fukai for a local festival, he was asked to do something like this, and pose as a model for the full top knot. As third tier men wear simpler hairstyles, he was knocked for rising above his station. But as papers point out, for comic sumo and bow twirling, lower ranked men do have full top knots. It's all in exhibitive spirit. Asa's coach green lighted his modeling role. Amid sound and fury, there's no story here. <laughs>